ladies and gentlemen, thanks from the bottom of my heart for recreating moments that I have spent uh, with my father. This is been possible because of uh, the profession that he chose for me instead of uh, letting me go into the profession that I was planning for myself. Probably after so many years I have realized that uh, being in this profession I have always been a, a child. I have never lost my child. And also, probably because of my being in this profession, because of the love showered upon me by so many young hearts which are unblemished, by so many of my colleagues, probably it is because of that that I am standing here before you today. Otherwise, uh, probably my sickness would have taken me away a little over a year ago. Now, my role as a, a student, a child, and now as an educational administrator, all these have been uh, influenced very greatly by the founder of this institution and uh, probably I am one amongst crores of people who have uh, this kind of good luck, this kind of fortune that a parent becomes a teacher and a teacher becomes a boss. Probably, I may not stop talking about this even if I am given a few hours, but then this program should go on. And uh, yes, as a son, I am very, very thankful to my colleagues and my dear children. for making me relive the past, but then uh, as a teacher, I also have, uh, in fact, as I don't call myself a teacher at all, I, I am an educational administrator, so I probably have uh, the task of getting you back into the mood that you were in earlier, and uh, here I will uh, probably tell you a small anecdote. In fact, this is about a group of uh, school children going on a picnic along with uh, a couple of their parents. In fact, this was a picnic which was uh, not organized by the school but uh, by the parents who got together and wanted to take their children out. And the picnic uh, was traveled by a launch into the sea. Once this group reached uh, somewhere far off from the shore, the launch stuck a bottle which was lying in the sea and the bottle was opened and the moment the bottle opened, a genie came out of it. And it told the group that I have been in this bottle for probably a few centuries and having come out, I have a condition that you will have to fulfill. Anything 
that you throw into the sea. If I get it out, I will lead the person who has thrown the object into the sea. If I am not able to get this out from the sea, the object that is thrown, then I will become the slave of that person and uh, grant any wish that the person asks for. The parents were all uh, frightened, the children were all frightened looking at uh, such a monstrous uh, being before them. One parent came forward and threw a pin into the sea. And the genie was a very fair genie and it decided that before you throw anything into the sea, I will turn my back upon you and I will not see what is being thrown. So a pin was thrown into the sea. Once it was thrown, the genie was told uh, that we have thrown whatever you wanted. Now, See if you can find it. The genie went underwater, started looking at uh, various things, and ultimately found the pin and got it out of the water. I said, This is what has been thrown, and the person who has thrown it, I will eat him and his friend. But then I will give a chance to each one of you, and I will eat the people who have not fulfilled uh, my condition once I finish with everyone. And Jenny was probably very happy thinking that uh, you know such a big group is going to become his uh, meal now. Somebody threw a coin, somebody threw a chip from the mobile phone, somebody threw a hair, and things got smaller and smaller, and the genie was able to pick it up. Then one parent said, I have a condition before I throw something else. And the genie asked, what is the condition? He said, I want the teacher of my child to be here, present with us. And uh, the genie said, that's simple, and in a fraction of a second, the teacher was produced there. And then the teacher was told, uh, this is the problem we are all facing. What do we do? The teacher smiled and said, uh, if this was the problem faced only by the parents, probably I would have uh, thought for a little longer. But since it involves my students, he said, I'm prepared to do what the genie asks. And the genie was uh, told that the teacher will now fulfill the condition put by the genie as the last person. In case the teacher fails, the genie could eat all the parents, all the students and the teacher himself. And the genie was asked to turn and face the other side. The teacher took something out of his pocket, threw it in the water, and after a minute or so, asked the genie to turn around and said, to you please tell me what the condition is again. So the genie said, if I am not able to get what you have thrown into water, then I will become your slave and follow whatever commands that you give. But two minutes later, the teacher said, all right, now find out what I have thrown and get it out of the water. The genie went underwater, started searching minutes, and hours passed by, not able to find what the teacher threw. And ultimately, accepting defeat, he came out of the sea and said, that, Teacher, I accept my defeat. I am going to become your slave. And I am going to fulfill whatever you ask for. And not just one wish, but all through your life, I will fulfill whatever you ask for. The teacher said the first thing is, you will not harm the group of people here with me. The genie said, agree. And second thing is, the teacher said, we have a program 
called Make in India, come along with me and help us make things in India. So Jesus said, yes, agree. But please tell me, what is it that you have thrown? Because I know you have thrown something, but I was not able to find. Dinka said, uh, you'll probably start crying if I tell you. But the genie was insistent. He said, please tell me, what did you throw into the sea, which I was not able to retrieve? And the teacher replied, I threw a different tablet into the sea and it melted. And that's the reason why you were not able to come out. Now this anecdote tells us that uh, parents are parents, other humans are humans, friends are friends, relatives are relatives, but probably the concern that a teacher has for his student cannot be equaled by anybody. At times, a teacher may seem harsh to the student, to the parents. But then, believe me, every teacher, and I will probably say specifically, every Indian teacher has the best interest of his or her students in mind and heart. Wish you all the best and thank you.